Alright, what's up guys? So today we are at Mission Fitness Center. Woo! Look at you knowing the show is fine. And I'm in Devil Fit. Andy is squatting and benching. Andy's behind the camera. Thank you for filming, bro. We're having a great deadlift day, the best deadlift day since we've taken our teeth out. Uh, 405 is moving the best it ever has. So not ever, but you know, for the past few months. Oh shit, that's... Oh my god. Uh, and I'm playing with the belt today, working on some things, just trying to see what we can get out of this because... Thank you team, I love this thing. Please gain weight. We're trying to get as much use of it as we can. So we just pulled a really easy uh, belted strap 405 after a belt uh, list. So now we're just gonna move up and see what we have for the day. Through, from yeah. here, uh -huh. you just like like pull pull the slack all the way out. And okay. You just, you just like finger, hang your fingers on there. And like, since your hand is like open, right. it won't slip through. Mm, you can okay. just, just like, Right there. So this is like even more cheater boys than a Versa. Honestly, yeah, you just pull it out. Yeah. Like go in slightly, mm -hmm. and then like it won't come off. Okay, I'll give it a try. Oh, I see. Okay. So we finished our top single at 445. I'm actually very happy with that because that's by far the heaviest we've gone since uh, the wisdom teeth extraction, right? 40 pounds up from the 405 that we last hit. Uh, I missed on lats. I actually, that's like the first time I've ever missed on lats. And I could definitely feel it pull me forward and I felt the pack, you know, kind of cramp up because of that. So tech-wise, it wasn't exactly flawless. What we were looking for, so we're gonna clean it up on some back downs at 405. Upper body strength. This is a man who has served for the country oh. and it shows. So this is a good plank right here. We got some mild flexion. We got some mild flexion right here. Right, we're looking for that posterior tilt as we do this so the abs are actually on, right? If you guys are doing planks and your shit's sagging and arching like that, you're not getting anything done. So don't go for time, don't worry about how long you're going, keep it quality, okay? I can only fucking hit a minute when I'm doing it right. So we're back today with a meal that I feel is a little bit more appropriate for the whole theme of this series, right? We have In-N-Out and we will start with the burger. So uh, this is my usual order from In-N-Out that I get like probably, I would say like two or three times a week. A double-double, we've got a double-double here, grilled onions, bun, extra toasted. Unfortunately, the In-N-Out that uh, is by my house always fails to extra toast the bun. Oh, they actually kind of, they actually kind of got it this time. Look, check it out. It's actually kind of extra toasted, but the, soft, the, the top feels very soggy. Hopefully the bottom bun is nice and toasted, we'll see. Next up we have fries, light well. Light well is the key, guys. Well done ends up being like overly crispy, and I think when I get them well done, they actually end up just being too done, and they end up being like chips, right? So huge shout out to my buddy Frank for introducing me to light well fries. Thank you, bro. They have been a game changer for the in and out meal. I got some chopped chilies in here, a little bit of spice. And lastly, we have a half chocolate, half vanilla shake, right? Well, it's already kind of melted from the drop, but let's see if this is actually an extra toasted bun or if it's a soggy sack of shit. Okay. 
does it, that does it. Good, great. A lot of fries got in here. All these stragglers actually kind of like fell in like you can see. I think that provided an extra crunch, but very good, very good. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So just a small update on the journey to gain weight. We're currently 142, 143 average right now. So, well, it's been, I think, two-ish weeks since the last video. So whenever I train, uh, especially when I train both lifting and my tumbling and tricking. My caloric expenditure is just like off the charts or something because no matter how much I eat that day, if I do both activities, I just lose tons and tons of weight or like no matter how much I eat, I will not be able to hold on to the weight or put on anymore. So that's why I have such a hard time gaining weight, guys, but, you know, we're out here trying. 